Hello, everyone, and welcome to AMAT 301 ECHO 351 Theory of Interest, Spring 2021. My name is Professor Isralowitz. Uh, you can just call me Mr. Isralowitz. What I want to do in this video is uh, just uh, give you an overview of what this course is going to be like uh, and the structure of this course. So first, for particularly the economic students, um, you really should have taken and done well in Calc 2. Uh, otherwise, this is going to be a, a rather challenge, very challenging course. Um, it's not very calculus heavy, this course, and there's really only one topic where you're going to use uh, a lot of integrals. That's the force of interest. Uh, but uh, this is going to be a very quantitative course, probably more quantitative than uh, most economics three four hundred level courses. So, yeah, unless you've done very well in Calc one or Calc two, uh, you might have trouble in this course. Okay, so the lectures are available on YouTube. So if you go to the syllabus and click here, then uh, you'll be taken to a playlist of. Um, all of the videos starting from the very beginning. Okay. So even though all these videos are on YouTube, I will make improvements to the videos uh, as time goes by. So um, yeah, so uh, particularly the examples, I'll definitely improve the examples of a lot of the videos as time goes by. All right, so um, and yeah, so with the playlist, the order that the videos are in the playlist is the order that um, we're gonna go in, okay? So it's pretty irrelevant because I'm not gonna be there much, but my office is in Earth Sciences. I think I just need to put this in the syllabus. So here it is. Um, my email is jsrolowitz at albany.edu. My office hours are Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10.30 to 11.30 via Zoom. Here's the Zoom uh, ID and passcode. I am very flexible, so if those times are not good, just let me know uh, when is a good time. Uh, there is no required textbook. I somewhat follow uh, Sam Broverman's Mathematics of Investment and Credit. Uh, here I have the sixth edition. Um, but this book is rather convoluted and uh, very mind-bogglingly wordy, in my opinion. Uh, so in some sense, my uh, lectures are a much clearer, much more condensed, much less wordy uh, version of uh, this book here. Um, and if you want a text, you can get really any um, edition. Maybe probably I would stick with fourth or or, or maybe, yeah fourth edition or higher. Uh, but yeah, everything you need is absolutely going to be in the uh, YouTube lectures. Uh, I don't actually know if there is a good book, honestly, for this uh, course material. Uh, and henceforth, I decided to create my own YouTube videos. Seemed like a reasonable thing. So homework will be uh, assigned weekly, but not collected. Homework will be taken out of particularly uh, the sixth edition, but I will post up the homework problems on Blackboard and the solutions. So you do not need the book uh, for the homework. Uh, there's gonna be short quizzes starting uh, February 12th, every Friday. These will be variations. Uh, of homework and class examples, but they will be fairly similar to homework and class examples. Um, so will the exam, though I will probably have some more variation on the exams. Um, with the COVID situation, I'm sure we all um, have uh, family obligations, work obligations, uh, childcare obligations, whatever. I'm sure we've all had uh, the internet crap out at the worst possible time. 
for all these reasons, um, I'm going to give you a large seven hour window to submit your solutions to quizzes and exams. Uh, quizzes really should not take more than half an hour if you know what you're doing. Um, but still, I want to make sure that everyone has plenty of time to uh, submit it. So uh, there's going to be three exams and no final. Third exam will be during the scheduled final time, but it will not be cumulative. Uh, in the same uh, format, they will be posted on Blackboard at 12 o'clock, and you have to submit them by 7 o'clock. So just the format of the quizzes and exams are going to be Blackboard assignments. So let me go to the student view very quickly. All right, so under uh, course material, well, the syllabus is here. And also you'll see a mock quiz. Um, and I have this here just to illustrate uh, in case you don't haven't used assignments uh, in Blackboard. I'm sure you have. I'm sure everyone has. But in case you haven't, or maybe you're a transfer student, whatever. So to get the quiz, you just click here. And well, the quiz will pop up. Okay. So yeah, this is not a real quiz, so don't think this is. All right. And if you want to submit, uh, a solution, your solutions. You can just uh, click where I just clicked, browse my computer, and then just upload uh, whatever. Um, you know, upload whatever, basically, you know, your solutions are. Right? And then you would click submit. And you will actually get an email that your submission was uh, successful. So you can write the solutions with a pen or pencil on a blank sheet of paper. Uh, that's not a problem. I do want you to scan it and upload it as a PDF, though. There are plenty of programs to um, convert the JPEG into one single PDF. So sorry, when I say upload it as a PDF, I mean one PDF. Uh, if you just go to Google, um, let's see, Google um, um, JPEG PDF, uh, I believe this is the one I've used quite often. Um, yeah, JPEG to PDF. Uh, I quite I use it quite often. I, I really like it, um, and. I actually use a, um, a phone app called CAM Scanner, C A M S C A N N E R, uh, to take um, basically to turn my phone into a scanner. Uh, it's a very, very functional uh, app. So I would check that out. Again, it's CAM Scanner, C A M S C A N N E R. Um, So, um, yeah, and if you want more information, you can just go to their website, uh, Cam Scanner. Um, anyway, so uh, enough of that. So the content will be uh, fairly standard content for a course on the theory of interest. I'll talk about compound and simple interest, force of interest. Um, present future value in general, uh, annuities in general, present future value of very special annuity situations, loans in general, how to create an amortization table, um, sinking funds, bond pricing, uh, amortization of bonds, uh, yield rates, internal rate of return, net present value, et cetera, et cetera. And I'll end uh, on uh, treasury yield curve. So the grading will be as follows. Quizzes will be 40%, the average of all the quizzes. And uh, this, I need to get rid of 55 minutes. Uh, you have seven hours to do the exams. 
the exams will be um, combined uh, 60%. They really should take you actually about an hour to do if you know what you're doing. Um, but anyway. So the numerical grade to letter grade uh, scheme will be as follows. I will not curve, but I will probably drop the lowest quiz. I don't think I've taught this course where I haven't. So, um, all right, so roughly halfway into the course, we'll start to use the financial calculator, which will make uh, annuity calculations um, and certain um, interest rate uh, conversions very quick and easy. Uh, the calculator I will use is the BA2 plus. Um, and I'll go into full detail uh, on how to not only use this calculator, but just how to get intimately familiar with most of the functions of this calculator. Uh, this is very important if you want to pass exam FM. Um, this is a exam FM allowed calculator. You can use it on the exam and you really have to. You're not going to pass exam FM without mastering this or another financial calculator. And um, you can purchase this a lot of different places, Target, Office Depot, Staples. Um, and uh, yeah, it's between uh, 20 and $30. Um, I think it's $16 on, at Best Buy, uh, surprisingly cheap, actually. Um, no, sorry, it's the wrong calculator. But anyway. So uh, yeah, I would purchase it uh, as soon as possible. Um, and if you really want to, you can go ahead in the uh, videos and, and see how to use the financial calculator if you want to learn about it um, beforehand. So on to the, uh, the last thing I want to talk about is um, basically the relationship to the actuary exam FM. FM means financial mathematics. This course will cover roughly three quarters of the exam FM content. Um, more often than not, the problems are going to be slightly easier than those on exam FM, but they are going to be largely fairly close to exam FM problems. So a, a good chunk of the problems uh, I assign and put on the tests and quizzes. Um, in particular, I will assign for homework quite a few former exam FM problems. So um, yeah, from that perspective, I will do some rather convoluted and challenging problems um, because that's the kind of problems that are on the exam FM. And uh, so this course will not be that easy because exam FM is not easy. No matter how smart you are, you have to work you have to study a lot for exam FM. There's no way around it. And I don't want to talk, I don't want to talk about exam FM all that much here because um, I will give everyone a, a, a rather uh, exhaustive document on exam FM and how to uh, study for exam FM. Uh, so expect that in actually the next few days. All right, so uh, if there's anything I didn't answer that you might, any question you might have, shoot me an email. And I'd be happy to answer whatever question you have. Uh, hopefully I will see um, a lot of you on YouTube, uh, sorry, on uh, Zoom for office hours. And um, yeah, expect uh, the first homework up uh, in the next few days. And uh, until then, so long, take care. Enjoy uh, your freedom for the next few days. I know I will. All right, so long. Take care. Bye-bye.